Hey guys, Dr. Whitney Bow here, bringing you that Bow Glow, and today we're going to talk about a topic where sci-fi meets dermatology, nanotechnology. What exactly is nanotechnology, and how does it relate to your poolside lotions? Well, basically, nanotechnology is the creation of super small particles through the manipulation of matter on an anatomic, molecular, and supramolecular scale. Translation, yes, it's a bit like science fiction. So nanotechnology is now used to develop cosmetics and skincare products that contain super small particles designed to do a certain job for the skin. For example, sunscreens can contain zinc oxide or titanium dioxide nanoparticles that block ultraviolet rays while minimizing that white coating on the skin. So when you see the words invisible or sheer on sunscreen labels, it's basically using nanotechnology to give you those ingredients without leaving you looking like a ghost. Okay, so now that we know what nanotechnology is, let's talk about whether it's safe, a question I get a lot in my office. The safety of sunscreens containing titanium dioxide and zinc oxide nanoparticles came into question after both were shown to trigger the formation of free radicals in petri dishes upon exposure to UV rays, which could potentially damage healthy cells in a living, breathing human. You know, free radicals are like wild bullets that can damage tissues and cells. In skin, too many free radicals will accelerate skin aging and increase your risk for a whole host of skin disorders, skin cancer included. We don't want to put anything on our skin that spurs more free radicals. We want to do the opposite. We always want to protect against free radicals. But I have good news. When used in sunscreen, those nanoparticles are coated with materials that almost completely block the release of free radicals into the skin and prevent those free radicals from actually sticking to skin cells. As of the most recent studies, there's actually no compelling evidence that nanoparticles used in sunscreens can harm us. The data also shows that these particles actually do not penetrate the skin, despite what you might have seen in those sci-fi movies. They remain right there on the skin surface. Now they can lodge in hair follicles, but they appear to be confined to the stratum corneum, the outermost layer of the skin after application. So they're not penetrating beneath those very superficial layers. But here's a curveball. What if you have eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, a recent scrape, or even a sunburn, which all means that you have what's called a compromised skin barrier. So is it still safe? Well, the truth is we actually don't know yet. There's not enough data in this area. So I'd say use caution when applying sunscreens with nanoparticles to areas of the skin where the barrier is not fully intact. And this means if you have severe eczema or psoriasis, or you recently got a scrape or a sunburn, skip the nanotech, go for those old fashioned sunscreens with the usual suspects in the ingredients. Well-studied chemical filters like avobenzone, homosalate, octisalate. Try to avoid the words sheer or invisible. Now I'm sharing much more about this and all the latest technologies for your most beautiful glowing skin right here on my website, on my blog, and of course on my social media channels. So check back often. And thank you for sharing this time with me and taking the time to focus on your most healthy radiant skin. Until next time.